I think the way you, you set the context here is a very hard-earned breakout after seven months of, uh, of pullback, of repair, uh, of recovery. And I think that there's significance in how long we remain below the old highs from January. Uh, and basically, the, the, the forward um, implications of that are generally positive. But here's a two-year chart of the S&P, which I used to kind of show this very steady uptrend, that yeah. acceleration from the summer of last year through January, and then that pretty big uh, gut check and repair. So I think that the market had did enough to stay uh, kind of with the weight of the evidence on the bull side throughout this period. And now that you have this breakout, it's very hard to say uh, that there's anything particular in the way. Uh, if you have six months uh, below an old high and then you make a breakout to a new high, the forward uh, earnings historically, the forward returns have been better than average. Also, if you're up 5 to 10 percent at this point in August, you also tend to get better returns. So it seems like the setup is good. I think the big question is um, not so much is this as good as it gets, but is the market going to remain hard to please? You could make the case up 8 percent year to date in the S&P 500 when you've had 20 to 25 percent earnings growth. The Fed is patient. You've had a lot in your favor. Yeah. Is the market kind of implied? Implying that uh, that we're going to get some kind of deceleration and how much and, th and that was what I was going to say if you were able to take let's say the last year stock gains and chart that up against earnings gains yeah. I mean you would see the earnings kind of outperforming that which is why you're seeing this big pop for now. 2018 that's true but yeah. it, it, interestingly enough it was almost at this moment last year in August it's actually like August 18th 20th when the market was also up 8% year to date and then it took flight. So you actually had an acceleration at this point in the year. <laughs> and I think it was uh, largely it was the market kind of pricing in a, like, a greater likelihood of the tax cut. And Europe and the rest of the world started to well, you grow need faster. A, you're not, you know, with, with multiples where they are and rates headed higher, you're yeah. going to need the exactly. D side of things uh, to go up. And then, you know, we have trade, trade fears with who knows what's going to happen with mm. aluminium. I, I changed that one, aluminum, because it's oh. a different word yeah. altogether. Anyway, back to the important <laughs> stuff. Mike, how much is the last leg of this pushing us above the, the record yeah. highs been the dollar weakening? Because the dollar, not just this week and yesterday, yeah. the last two weeks has been pretty weak. It's, been, it's definitely been part of the, of the setup here. I, in fact, it's funny, you mentioned the trade wars. I think that the, the, the trade agreements, the progress on that front, the greatest help to the markets is that forestalling the idea of an emerging markets meltdown, a dollar rally that's going to get to new highs. So I do think that if you charted it in the last two weeks, the dollar's down almost 2%, and that's when the market actually got this extra little lift above the highs. Just weigh in on what these two were kind of going back and forth about earlier. Yeah. If, if you just said... Pronunciation. Part of the reason, no, 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 <laughs> yeah. not, not that. <laughs> Not that, where you guys were going back and forth a bit about our economy versus the rest yeah. of the world and how that helps. You just said that last year when this help happened, it was because other economies looked like they were doing that was better. A big, that was a and piece we got a big it. gain from that. Yeah. Can we also outperform if it looks like others are doing worse and we're doing better, or is that you know, not? I actually think that if you look at the evidence of yesterday, foreign stocks outperform the U.S., right? So they've been beaten down more. The U.S. has been the better place to kind of hide while this period has, uh, has unfolded. So um, I don't think it's an either or. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, of course you can. I mean, I do think the big question is, have we pulled forward a lot of CapEx? Have we pulled forward a lot of corporate good news right. this year? And what does it mean for now? Now, the earnings estimates are holding up, right? Usually stock, around this time of year, the year-ahead earnings are starting to kind of uh, erode a little bit, and that hasn't really. Oh, yeah, trillion and a half dollars of buybacks and dividends from U.S. companies. Right. It's, you know, it's a big help.